See, this is the soil surface here, here, and here. And for some reason, these roots are not active up here. There, there, here, right? What, what, what is happening is the grass roots have been around there and they can actually rob the sugars that these plants are putting into the ground. So they actually try to get below the grass roots. So these actually, while they're growing, are feeding the grass. And, the, and that's why the automatic control comes in. If you keep mowing them, of course, then the roots have to use up their ability to grow deeper to put more on the top. And ultimately the grass then takes over and stops the weed growing. I mean, why don't we tell people? Mow the weeds and the grass, see, but the grass is so much shorter. If we get a grass plant and the, its weed system, its root system, we put it alongside. How about that, see? It's right alongside. There's its roots, and that's where the weed hasn't got roots. Because this bloke's a thief. And he'll it'll take up and he'll evade everybody. And so the grass, the weed can't do it, so we cut the top off the weed and this fellow gets his top cut off, it doesn't make much difference. This fellow's lost all that, you see, he's lost all that. This bloke's only got a bit of a haircut. And now his roots grow below that because this fellow's got to use his roots to replace the top and this fellow just takes him out. See, there was a great publicity thing years ago wasn't that long ago and it was simple saying and it got the world award for the best advertising campaign and it said buy a victor turn grass into lawn well it's exactly what happened you know people and it, it's so simple and yet we have lost millions billions in a sense because nobody sort of took a lot of notice of what it meant people instinctively knew that when they bought a victor and they mowed their weeds they ended up with grass and so they kept buying them in Australia or Europe it, even when it rains there's a certain amount of leaching goes into the soil and Australia had another system because it had cracks in the soil and so the water used to fall into the cracks and fill that way now we've got hard-footed animals and agriculture we've filled all the cracks in so now it goes through the soil. And these fellas we brought in, that was their job, to follow that fertility down, bring it back to the top, leave it all up in this, see how much roots he's got here. These are all fine roots that have run away. The big storage is there. But that's like an environmental carrot for the next lot of grass to live on. And we take, and of course it, you can't compact it. If you're trying to fix a tennis court where people have been pounding around and stomping the soil down, they put a whole lot of cores in the ground. This fellow has put an organic core in the ground. It's going to last for two to three years. And yet we want to take that out, spend seven billion dollars a year we do, stopping it all working. Every farmer packages sunlight. That's what this guy is doing. See how much green area this fellow's got? Look at the grass down in there. And if I pulled them out, there'd be just as much grass as out here. Not diminished at all. But see, this is green area bonus. Look at this little fellow. Had grass right around him. That's as big a spot he's got. Look at this bloke. He's a, he's a groundhog. Look at the difference in space that the two actually occupy. So this fellow is a bonus for nothing. He doesn't take any space and he makes all that green stuff. And of course then all this comes down, that's the mulch, that's the packaged sunlight and atmosphere, that if a farmer's got any good in him at all, he'll convert that to a very valuable product by putting a seed in it, growing it. But if he hasn't got this primary product, this fellow, he, look how little he's got, he's not going to be able to make no. He's got all his production here in this mulch the residue of one of these plants. I mean, how is that hard to understand? I mean, I don't have a lot of trouble with this. Then, of course, the 
chemical blokes got in and said, wow, you know, these things are wrecking your system, buy more of our products. Now they're all broke. The chemical blokes are making a fortune, they run the world pretty much. And the landscapers in a hell of a state because of this stupidity. And I talk to most people, farmers that is, and I say, you believe that they're telling you scientific agriculture? Oh yeah, of course they are. Well, I said in actual fact, there's snake oil salesmen, you know. We used to be, when I was a kid, they'd get run out of town, those guys. They'd come in, we'd tar and feather them if they didn't leave quick enough. I think it's a good idea. We could start doing that again, you know. I reckon it would probably fix the landscape as well.